good. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Gallagher. Thank you very much. How you doing, all right? Good. Very nice to be here. It's especially nice. I had a terrible day, terrible day. I went shopping with my wife today for a dog. We had an unbelievable argument. She wants to get a poodle. I won't own a poodle because I think poodles should be legal to hunt. <laughs> yes, I am so sick of poodle owners saying to me, Pierre is an excellent watchdog. <laughs> this is a dog that's afraid of his own shadow. He's not keeping a lot of people out of the yard. Um, Okay, you want to leave the yard, please, right now? I, uh, I'm not going to come out here again, okay? All right. I hate the guys that will hunt rabbits and squirrels and stuff them and put them on the fireplace like it's some big deal. You know what I mean? Like, yep, killed a rabbit. <laughs> and you notice the animals are never stuffed like they were shot. You never see any rabbit stuffed like... No, they always look like they enjoyed being killed. Little squirrel with a nut in his hand. And ducks, too. See, we should not hunt ducks because use a duck call. It makes it think there's another duck down here that wants to be friendly. So he comes down to talk, you blow him out of the water. That's not fair. That's like ducks hunting people and giving them a people call. So you'd be walking through the woods, they'd blow the people call. I'd like to see a man in some camouflage clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have you on their fireplace at home. We had a dog when I was a kid. We had a real dog. But then we could have anything we wanted. We had so many kids in my family, my parents would let us have anything. And I, I don't remember how many kids we had because we never got an exact count, but uh, we never got out of control. My father knew the right thing to say every time to keep us right in line. You know what I mean? Those little key phrases. You'd be wrestling, he'd say, hey, I'd calm down if I were you. You don't even belong here. We bought you. <laughs> or he'd say to us, you know, I look at you and I think we got the wrong baby at the hospital. Said that all the time. Drove my sister Ching Lee crazy. <laughs> He'd be the one that did the disciplining, though. He, you know, the same as your father did. They all have the same technique. They don't ever want to spank you, so they give you those little previews of coming attractions. Come up into your room and say, what is going on up here? What is this, a playground? I have had it up to here with you. Then they talk to you in staccato like you're stupid. Now knock. <clears throat> Oh! <laughs> my mother didn't hit us, she'd save it for him. She'd say, no. No, that's a terrible thing you've done, but I don't think I'm gonna punish you right now. Do you know why? No. Because I have a very sneaky feeling someone's gonna be interested in hearing about this when he gets home from work. <laughs> and she'd spend the rest of the day torturing you. My brothers and sisters would follow me around the house. <laughs> Hey, hey, dad's home. <laughs> He'd come in, she'd start riding. I have had it. I have had it with him. I have eight more just like him around the house all day long, and I'll be crazy to put up with this for one more minute. Now, are you going to do something about this? And the father's face would be red and the veins bulge, and he'd say, what is it? What is it with you? Look at me. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm under a lot of stress. <laughs> is this true? Is everything she's telling me true? <laughs> No, she's a liar. <laughs> and she's been drinking all day. It's been great. Thanks very much. Thank you.